one year ago. I switched from Unity to Unreal Engine 5. I downloaded it and opened it up. And instantly I felt like I was staring at a spaceship. Everything felt shinier, heavier and somewhat inspiring. I didn't expect it to change how I thought about game development, but it did, weirdly enough. And to be honest, it wasn't just because Unreal looked cool or because of some tech demo hype. It was because Unity made a decision, a really dumb one, the pricing change. The one that made half the internet scream and the other half switch engines overnight. But it wasn't just about money, it was about tools. I was frustrated with Unity's terrain system, I had been working on Trisha Drift, my drifting game, and Unity's terrain system wasn't cutting it. Trying to build believable roads, tracks and everything else and getting the terrain to cooperate that and then putting AI on top felt like I was fighting the engine instead of building a game. So I made the leap. I started out with blueprints and let me say blueprints get a bad reputation. People call them toys or gimmicks or training wheels but they're not. They're fast, visual and they're godsend. In Unity I was used to scripting out. It gave me flexibility, but it also gave me a lot of boilerplate, a lot of setup and constantly jumping between systems. With blueprints, I could test ideas in minutes. Does the car need tighter turning and at high speeds? Boom, I can test it. Want to add a boost pad? 10 minutes developing. That early stage of development felt much more alive in Unreal Engine than it did in Unity, even though the difference is text. For Trisha Drift, I could iterate on features way faster than I could ever in Unity. Especially for things like racing logics, triggers, checkpoints, it all felt more fluid. And then I hit a wall. Because once you get serious with Unreal, you hit that moment where blueprints aren't enough. You need performance, you need control. And that is where C++ comes in. And coming from C Sharp, C++ felt like a punch in the face. Header files building times, constant compiler errors that make zero sense at first. I generally was considering going back to Unity in this phase. Not because Unreal was bad, because C++ was intimidating, even to a normal developer like me. But then, slowly, I got the hang of it. I started making custom components, editor extensions, modular systems, and then I realized this is why people love Unreal. Blueprints are basically your sketchpad, and C++ is the thing you forge your game in. Once I had both working together, I had something Unity never gave me. Complete control, with AAA great performance. I still miss C Sharp though, but Unreal gave me something else. Power. Serious, deep, system level power. And that power extends beyond code. Level design in Unreal is just better. The tools feel more refined, the editor feels like it's built for designers, not for programmers. And for Trisha Drift, I could sculpt the world, paint foliage, place buildings, track pieces and preview the whole thing in dynamic lighting and the post-processing was also a tiny bit better. In Unity, you can get very very close, I'm not saying it's bad, but in Unreal, it feels like this is what it's made for. Even stuff like building my own race system or road editors, Unreal makes that work better. Extending the editor might seem a bit more niche, but for a racing game, being able to make my own tools saved me days of work. Unity is good at this too, but Unreal gave me controls over the interface, the layout and the layout visuals. I could make everything feel like it's part of an engine. And when it came to drifting physics, yeah. Unreal was easier. Handling, tweaking grip, adjusting curves, it all felt a bit more tunable. In Unity, I'd had been second guessing my physics for months. In Unreal, I felt like I could feel the road a bit more than I could in Unity. But here's the thing. Even though I'm praising Unreal a lot, Unreal isn't perfect. Not even close. Terrain is still kind of a mess. You'd think a game engine that can render billions of triangles would make terrain better, but no. Terrain editing is still somewhat awkward, slow, heavy, and trying to integrate roads that deform the terrain, have spline-based AI and connect everything in blueprints, 
yeah, good luck. That's the hardest part of developing my drifting game. I'd hacked together a system made out of roads, influenced the terrain, while also building a system on top that could guide the AI. It works now, but it wasn't smooth in the beginning. And there's also this issue of performance. Unreal is beautiful, no doubt, but those dynamic shadows, lumen lighting, high-res meshes, and even nanite, they cost a lot. Unity wasn't nearly as pretty, but it ran smoother on lower-end hardware. So while Unreal gives you beauty, it also demands a lot more optimization than you will expect. And that's the battle I'm still fighting a bit. And so after a full year, what's my verdict? I still love Unreal. I'm not one of those developers who pick a side and stay tribal. Unity taught me game development and I made my first games in there. It's clean, lightweight, C Sharp is still one of my favorite languages I ever used. And for some projects, especially 2D or mobile, Unity is still my choice number one. But for what I want to make with bigger 3D games, multiplayer, lighting, dynamic terrain, Unreal is where I'll stay. Because the truth is, multiplayer in Unreal is still hard, but it's a different kind of hard. It's structured hard. Replication makes more sense once you get used to. You have real authority control, prediction, state management. And in Unity, I always felt like I was more or less duct taping a solution together. Unreal gave me the tools, I just had to learn how to use them. And speaking of learning, I've learned a lot from building Trishu Drift. From physics to terrain, from race systems to custom editors, this game has become a testbed for everything I learned in Unreal, in Unity. And finally, I'm at a place where I can say it feels playable, stable and fun. There's still a lot of work, obviously, but the game wouldn't exist in its current form without Unreal Engine or without you guys. It challenged me, it frustrated me, but it also pushed my development process. And now, a year later, I'm building the game I dreamed of making. So, should you switch to Unreal? Maybe. Maybe not. If you're building fast prototypes or 2D games or working with limited hardware, Unity is awesome. But if you're thinking about multiplayer, a more in-depth design work, beautiful worlds and high-end control, Unity is worth learning. Just be ready to fight with some of the systems, especially C++ as a beginner. I'll keep using both engines. I think every dev should know both. But right now, Unreal is my home. Let me know in the comments what engine you're using currently and why. And if you haven't yet, Trisha Drift is still in the works. Wishlist it, follow along, because it would be beautiful for all of you to tag along the way. Try both engines, have fun and experiment. With that, I'll see you in the next one.